Hey guys, welcome back to Almost Inevitable Design and today we're going to learn something that's relatively easy to do. So, uh, it's good, right? Alright, so, um, a while ago I actually checked out this website, Candy Themes. I'm not advertising them, I just saw this, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. So, um, I decided to look into the code and the way it was done was this image is a background and that background was centered, centered of course because you know it should be in the center and then aligned to the top and then on mouse hover the background will move which is pretty similar to a post that I've made before about um, buttons. It was about buttons. Uh, gradient buttons, backgrounds, and having the button backgrounds move and all that. So it was similar to this because the way that this buttons move, um, so the way that this, these buttons, the way, oh, stop, stop moving. All right, all right, there we go. The way that these buttons move, it's a gradient that's actually shifting. And it's pretty much the same thing that they're doing there, which I thought was pretty cool. But then I saw um, someone on a Facebook group um, ask about this and I thought oh I, I remember this and I commented and then um, it ended up being um, me promising to make a tutorial and here I am right so everybody can enjoy this now I've decided that I'm not gonna go the background moving route because that means you're gonna be uh, you're gonna have to write some HTML and also the the images are gonna be hard coded into the thing and it's hard to move around and it's just a hassle so what I've decided to do was take that same idea and implement that in the way that I feel might help everyone even more. And that is using an image module. All right, so what you're gonna do is I'll just add a custom class, hover scroll, that's the name that I've given this thing, and just add your image. Now it's better to use a long image. Now I've used, um, I'm using um, a screenshot of my website and um, that's it, just a long image, right? And of course, now you need to think about, and this is of course already here, and um, of course, what you need to do is add some CSS, right? So let's take a look at the CSS. I'm gonna, I'll be giving you this uh, CSS snippet on my uh, post, and of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, check the link below, Take the link in the description and you'll find the post. And if you're on the post page, then it's right there. All right, so uh, if you add hover scroll onto an image module, this is what you're, what you're gonna get. And there is, one th oops, there is one thing that you need to remember, see? This is the height of the scroll box, all right? And this has to be the same over here. All right, so you've got to remember this part, all right? For example, if you change that from 15 rem to 500 pixels, down here on top, that should be 500 pixels as well. That's all you need to remember, all right? I added a border of solid black because it's easier to see, <laughs> right? Oh, of course, we should see how it works, right? So that this this CSS is already loaded on the front end, and there you go, right? So if you rub your mouse over it, yippee, look at that. Yep, there we go. Um, the reason why you see this part, it's a little left over, is because the image is a little too small, so what I can do is I can make this like half width and we won't oops and we won't have that problem. So I'll meanwhile I'll be so I'll be back I'll, I'm back here. Now um, you can change that border if you want. You can actually um, um, I don't know change change it to whatever you can add a pseudo element and then put like a nice I don't know what you can do to it. Uh, maybe put an image of a computer around it. I don't know. So yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with that. But anyways, um, that's that's how you do that, right? So the way that this works is 
Um, image modules have three layers, and the first layer is ETPB image, which is uh, on the same level as the module itself, and that's where we add the custom CSS, custom class, that is. And then underneath that, we have an image wrap, and underneath that, we have an image tag. Yeah? All right. And um, what? so that means we don't have to actually add it into the background. We can just use uh, uh, the image wrap and do that, right? So this is um, relative position, so later we can use absolute positioning for that. So just to make sure that it doesn't stretch, and well not stretch, but it doesn't fit in the middle, we want it on top and uh, full width inside the module and um, yeah, right? Uh, I added three seconds just so it will scroll for three seconds. You can change this if you want, okay? And it will translate Y means it will go all the way to the top, but then what happens is that image, the bottom of this image aligns here, so you don't get to see the bottom through the window, through this module, okay? So what you have to do is add the height of this block to the top so you'll have space on top so it will push it down just enough that what you get in the end is that the bottoms are aligned like this okay so if you don't understand any of that don't worry about it just add this make sure you take this and this have it the same number and you're done okay so the way that you add that of course you can add that if you want it add it, if you want to add it to a page add it over here but uh, if you want to do this here and there and stuff uh, all throughout the website. Go to theme options and add it to the custom CSS. Or of course, um, what I re recommend is using a child theme. And if you're, of course, if you're using a child theme, you should add that to the CSS that the child theme is loading. Okay, cool. All right, so, oh, just a plug before you go. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not watching all the way to the end, but if you are, then um, if you wanna learn some CSS, I am coming out with the CSS a uh, course for beginners. It is a very, I won't, I don't want to say intensive, but it's a very fun course and it actually has quizzes and you got to pass the quizzes to get to the next lesson. And maybe in about two weeks, I think I'll give you about three weeks. In about three weeks, you will actually be able to be really good at CSS and actually make your whole websites by code and Divi. All right, so it's CSS for beginners using Divi and it'll come out in a couple weeks. So sign up for the newsletter newsletter on the website and you'll get a special offer later on and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, all right, so stick around and um, I'll see you in another video. All right, bye-bye.